Ladies, have you ever been trapped? Now, I'm not talking about being trapped at an amusement park or um, in, a, in an elevator, but not even in a jail cell. I'm talking about being trapped in a relationship with no apparent way out, no release date. I'm talking about being trapped from freedom of expression, freedom of hope, being trapped away from the real experience of being a woman. Now, are there any brothers out there who are willing to admit that you've been responsible for some of this? Yeah. Yeah. All right? All right? Now, you may not know me, but I'm sure you know someone like me. You know? Your name. That guy with the nice smile, the kind way, always saying hello. Ladies, perhaps it was somebody that you slept with. Maybe some guy you dated don't with now. It might be the guy that you married to. My name is Richard Day. Married four years, work six days a week. I enjoy my job and I love my wife. My first love, my high school sweetheart. I would buy my wife anything that she wanted. Furs, jewelry, cars, it didn't matter. I would even call my wife four to five times a day just to say, baby, dear, I love her. But after a while, it started taking her too long to answer the phone. I, I, I was on the other line. For real? The who? Talk to me who? Somebody in my house? Did. They say a scared man can't work and a jealous man can't get. <laughs> so I started going home for lunch. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, baby. Hey. Did you see the lunch I packed? No, I'm good. I'm good. I was just telling you. Check on my trophy. Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just, I just wanted to check on my trophy. We'll see if anybody's trying to claim it. Oh, stop it, Richard. How's somebody going to claim something that's already yours? <laughs> you are. You're right. You're right. Look, okay, it might, it might just be me, but I was wondering, look, the neighbor next door, okay, the other day, you were out in the garden, had a little red shorts, you would, you know, turn the garden up, and I, he was looking at you a little bit, and I noticed he came a little closer to the fence, I was like, is he feeling my wife? What's going on with dude? And I was like, I think he wants to get with my wife, you know what I'm saying? So I said, you feel the same about him? <laughs> How could you even ask me anything like that? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing. I, I, I just want to know. I just want to check out because, hey, hey, here, doctor, here, you are mine, all right? And I'm yours, okay? All right, man. You're clean. You're just playing? Try it. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Try it. I'm going to see. Let me get out of here. Richard went back to work and started the phone calls. He kept calling me and said, Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes I wonder if, if I even married a psychopath, you know? Of course I understood what he was saying. I made sure he understood. I knew he was saying. Hey, I'm Michelle. Michelle Davis. First few years of my marriage were great. I mean, Richard did everything for me. I had everything I wanted. And we were traveling the world, and it's like our friends said we were living the life. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was great. We had almost everything. Well, except children. I come from a big family, so I'm really, really big on having kids and raising a family, but Richard just wasn't too keen on the idea. Uh, they were just slow as that. Never understood that. I mean, who do you know that has kids that slows down? If anything, the kids make you speed up, right? Well, I guess it wasn't time yet. It's okay. He called me his trophy, which I think it was a good thing. People work hard to get a trophy, right? Something that you're proud of, something that you put on display. So I was his. He said I made him smile. That's why he married me. But um, it just started to change. Somebody I, I didn't even know. For instance, Friday nights. Friday nights were his guy's night out. He would invite his friends over to play cards. Hey, hey, hey. It's Friday night. You know what that means? It's not that, right? I don't know why they call it that, but all they do is sit in the house anyway. But on Thursdays, Richard would send me to the hair salon. My hair was long and he liked it when I had it pent up with the curls falling real soft and sexy. And got a lot of compliments from the guys. <coughs> Ladies too, I mean, he loved that. And then he would always buy me a new outfit, something sexy to wear that night. Well, guess what? Look, so I got you. I want you to wear this one right here tonight. Tonight. Wear that one, okay? Thank you. Friday nights were like Richard's claim to fame. He loved the way his friends would look at me and compliment him on how beautiful and sexy his wife was. Then he'd start drinking. 
things start changing. He could see that his friends were asking for drinks and, and snacks and stuff more frequently just so I could come back and forth out of the room. He's getting jealous. And of course, he would never address any of his friends about it, but he let me have it. He cursed me out. He told me it was my fault that they were lusting after me, that, that I wanted them to look at me, and it was him who arranged the IP and the affair in the first place. Yeah. You think you suck. I bought that dress with my hard earned money from my wife to put on. Little did I know that a whore would be taking it off. Imagine that. The very man that insisted that I put those clothes on is calling me something that he despises. It got worse. Richard start constantly accusing me of cheating, questioning my loyalty to him, calling me all the time. It just got so bad that he started isolating me. I would get phone calls and he would tell my family and friends that I wasn't home. But he wouldn't let me out the house. Or, or he just started telling them that I couldn't talk to him at all. Uh, she didn't need to talk to them. They've got their own problems, right? I lost contact with everybody. My friends, my family. I didn't have anybody to talk to. You know, I never considered myself a praying woman, you know, a religious woman, but I had to talk to somebody. So I started praying to God, why God, what's going on? Nothing happened. The threats just kept on coming, just got more aggressive, and just turned physical, and, 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 and Richard's anger was just uncontrollable. Now, admit it. Now, I played mind games with Michelle, right? I mean, I, I had to. Uh, she tried to ignore it, to keep from getting hit. It didn't work. Hey, babe, what's up? Um, what you been doing since I left? Oh, um, cooking and cleaning. With them clothes on. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to ask you one more time, Michelle. Uh, what you been doing since I left? Nothing, baby. I've been cooking and cleaning. I put this on so that I would look nice for you. You been fucking around with them men? No. Now I'm going to ask you one more time, Michelle. What you been doing since I left? I've been cooking and cleaning, baby. I you been been lying to me. <laughs> If somebody that lies to me, it's possible to know what. Okay, I'm okay. All right? So then, we live together, we die together. <laughs> hey, clean yourself up. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Richard started drinking every day. I thought he was distressed from his job. I started getting scared. Kill me. Kill me. You know what? You know what to do. I don't have anybody to talk to. I just wanted to. I just wanted to get away. Richard was just. Now, Michelle, she, she started to lose faith in God and in me, right? Now, her family always said that, that God answers prayers. But I guess Michelle must have thought that God wasn't listening to her and was mad at her because she chose to stay with me. Oh, yeah, she would sneak. She would call her family and her friends and stuff. She didn't think I know. <laughs> but she knew that a phone call to 911 would mean a death sentence before they ever arrived. She always wanted to talk things out, but uh, I couldn't hear her. Richard? Yeah, Thank you, talk. Oh, God. Look, look, okay. okay. I'm going to say this plain and simple, all right? Do what you're told, and everything will be all right, okay? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? I, I, just, I, just, I just wanted to say that I never said I'm not okay. Well, God damn it, Phil! What the fuck? You know what? Okay. I see what you want. I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know that I love you and I want you to know